GT Countdown. Top 10 Funniest Games. When it comes to ranking the elite, funniest is a hard thing to quantify. Humor is subjective, after all. What leaves you in stitches might put someone else to sleep. But humor in video games has seen several important landmarks that have helped redefine what interactions we laugh at and why. Chest pain! Having chest pain! If the following 10 nominees didn't make you chuckle at least once, then you may have checked your sense of humor at the start screen. Number 10. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. Portal. Making light of your own mortality to elicit a nervous chuckle might seem like a cheap trick, but Valve's doorway generator was paced perfectly. With just a one-way conversation and a dangerously glitched one at best to get you through all the test chambers, no one thought Portal would be as funny as it was. Assume the party escort submission position or you will miss the party. Everyone was so fascinated by the tech that the literal breakdown of the mastermind GLaDOS was just the icing on a masterfully baked cake. Even if we did never get to eat it. Number 9. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Resident Evil. How do you say Master of Unlocking in Japanese? While it must also be considered for the top 10 most terrifying games of all time, Resident Evil is also a laugh riot, but not intentionally. The localized script is so bad, we can't tell if the actors realize its ineptitude or not. For now, I'll wait here, since there are a lot of chemicals in this room and they might be useful. Well, I'll look over the chemicals. Some lines reach new levels of campiness. Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. While others just don't make any sense. It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. It's clearly a game that would not have been as funny if the developers intended it to be so, making this comedy-slash-horror title a fortunate mistake. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. We could slide 50 badly translated games onto this list, like the classic Zero Wing, but Resident Evil stands as the glowing example of translation gone wrong because of how serious it's supposed to be. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. Number 8. The Secret of Monkey Island. In a time when most games didn't have a sense of humor, let alone the balls to make fun of themselves, the swashbuckling silliness of Ron Gilbert and other LucasArts pioneers demonstrated wit as sharp as a buccaneer's blade. The graphic misadventures of Guybrush Threepwood followed the halls of Maniac Mansion and the catacombs of Indy's Last Crusade. LucasArts' expertise in the genre was evident in every line. Monkey Island proved game humor could be both intelligent and obnoxious, with equally hilarious results. Number seven. Command and Conquer, Red Alert. Renowned as much for its real-time strategy as its real-time laughs, the Command and Conquer Red Alert series deployed onto our countdown with a single question in mind. Is it fanciful or is it farce? We will first attack Soviet Russia and crush not only their armies, but their leaders, their spirit, and their hope. At this point, it's just about anyone's guess, but it's inarguable that it sure knows how to lay it on thick. Once you have located him, bring him back to your drop-off point for immediate evacuation. The clash over Tiberium has seen a lot of faces over the years, but it's good to know that good old Kane will always remain the same. And we wouldn't have it any other way. You can't kill the Messiah. Number six. Leisure Suit Larry. Lovable loser Larry Laffer has been hanging around adventure games and trying to get laid since the 80s, although he's had more luck making people laugh than actually getting lucky. What do you expect from a guy who thinks gold chains and polyester leisure suits are the height of fashion? While the series isn't quite as funny as it used to be without Larry's creator Al Lowe, we'll never forget in Land of the Lounge Lizards when, only minutes after starting the game, we that prostitute and our exploded. Yes. Number five. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. While Mario RPGs are typically lighthearted, Alpha Dream's Superstar Saga put humor at its core. The game was full of great moments. Princess Peach's voice was stolen and replaced with explosives, Toad walked in on Mario in the shower, and the brothers had to physically jump the border to the villainous Bean Bean Kingdom. The laughs were supported by great animations and vocal expression. But the grammatically challenged Fawful stole the show. 
This is the villain that threatened you with the mustard of your doom. Number four. Osu Tatakae Wendan. It isn't the easiest title on the block to say, but the zany humor of Wendan earns its praises for comedy without barriers. Drawing on spastic cartoons and catchy J-pop to deliver its message, the infectious rhythm tapper taps straight into funny bones with visual gags that most everyone could appreciate. Not to mention that the game itself isn't half bad either. A title that's 100% Japanese and 1000% hilarious, Wendon's unique take on everyday life was a laugh riot. Number 3 Grim Fandango. Gladys, are you loco? From the mentalist Tim Schafer comes a noir adventure based on Day of the Dead. Skeletal salesmen sold trips with the recently departed ferrying customers to their just rewards. Of course, a mix of undead mobsters and numbing office bureaucracy turned it into anything but an exercise in retail service. As Manny Calavera, you tackle the surreal world that was quite lively despite everyone being dead. Beret-wearing revolutionaries cried viva and speed demons were actual lovable demons. Even when the moments weren't laugh-out-loud funny, the atmosphere was draped in smoke and smirks. And for anyone who was concerned with all the smoking, the manual had you covered. Number 2 WarioWare Franchise A parody of minigame collections, WarioWare for Game Boy Advance boasted 200 games in one, with activities including dodging ninjas, cutting logs, and brushing teeth. It was seemingly innocent, but that just made it all the more funny. Players had only seconds to react and never knew what would come next, and it was hard to stop laughing when you suddenly had to dodge a hot dog or help a pretty girl sniff up a drip of snot. More recently, Smooth Moves maxed out the Wii's potential for embarrassment by making players act out a variety of crazy gestures in front of their friends, adding a whole new layer of hilarity to the series. Number 1 Conker's Bad Fur Day. Rare's notorious use of googly eyes runs rampant, but Bad Fur Day was anything but an adorable game. Most of the time. Uh, Throwing caution aside, the M-rated plot followed the drunken plight of a foul-mouthed squirrel looking for his curvy mate Barry. The game oozed adult humor with Conker's lethargic attitude. I'm gonna be a bit late. And it constantly dropped pop culture references that magically transformed the platformer into an unforgettable experience that we are still telling stories about to this day. With hilarious voice acting, Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Nuts to the wall gore, and a musical score that showcased a gigantic pile of singing poo. There was more comedy piled into this game than any other. Oh, ooh, oh, I say, this is far from dignified. Oh, I hope maybe she'll not see this. Oh, never again.